Welcome to video number 26 in my series of presentations that will attempt to demystify tourism. I'm Dr. Stan McGahey, the creator and narrator of the videos. Their content is based on my experiences worldwide as a professor, consultant, writer, manager, and tourist in more than 100 countries on six continents. Tourism is a multi-dimensional, highly fragmented mega-industry. In other words, it has a lot of moving parts, each functioning to serve its own distinct needs. But to create a positive tourism experience, all these moving parts must be coordinated. The more they work towards the same well-defined goal, the more successful each of them will be, as well as the destinations they support. For example, the four operational sectors, as described in video number five, must all work together to provide tourists with the transportation they need to get to and around the destination, the attractions they need to motivate them to visit and stay a while, the accommodations they need to stay overnight, and the food and beverage they need to stay healthy and happy. Tourism organizations of many different sizes and constituents help to develop, coordinate, and promote these efforts. Many of these are DMOs, destination marketing organizations, and destination management organizations. Along with business and community, government is one of the sides of the Tourism Stakeholders Triangle, as described in video number four. Many government agencies and departments have responsibilities that intersect with the interests of the tourism industry, and some are totally devoted to it, with tourism serving as a major part of their economic focus. Among their duties are managing natural and cultural resources, formulating tourism policy, collecting and appropriating tourism taxes, providing infrastructure, and coordinating overall destination promotion. Government tourism organizations range from tourism policy councils and legislative committees to tourism offices and welcome centers. The tourism industry consists of countless businesses, most of them classified as SME, small and medium-sized enterprises. In undeveloped and developing countries, many are classified as even smaller micro-enterprises. As they attempt to serve their specific niche within the larger tourism industry, the inconsequential size of many tourism businesses means they have difficulty gaining a voice that represents their collective interest and needs. Their solution is to form a tourism organization. Tourism is a global system of contrasting and complementary subsystems that continuously evolve and change according to numerous internal and external factors. As governments and businesses from one country or subsystem deal with those in another, they are constantly seeking reliable, high-quality, and ethical tourism products and services that will generate profitable relations. Two organizations, the United Nations World Tourism Organization, UNWTO, and the World Travel and Tourism Council, WTTC, provide a global forum that works towards this goal. UNWTO brings together national government tourism officials, the public sector, while WTTC brings together leaders of the major tourism companies, the private sector. These two organizations often collaborate on important issues that benefit from their mutual input. Blocks of countries or states, island groups, and entire continents often form organizations designed to benefit the tourism industry within their geographic area. Among their goals are to upgrade their individual tourism industries, facilitate travel to and within their entire area, and create a larger destination that can be promoted as a region to compete successfully against other major markets worldwide. Examples are the Pacific Asia Travel Association, the Southeast Tourism Society, comprised of 12 U.S. states, the Caribbean Tourism Organization, and the European Travel Commission. A National Tourism Organization, NTO, also known as a National Tourism Office, is the most common type of organization devoted to the success of a country's tourism industry. Its primary responsibilities are to promote the country in foreign markets, stimulate the development of products they are promoting, coordinate with other government tourism-related organizations, and support the efforts of private sector tourism businesses and NGOs. In some countries, the NTO concentrates almost entirely on promotion while a parallel organization, the National Tourism Administration, NTA, assumes the responsibility for development and other required activities. 
A state tourism organization, STO, also known as a state tourism office, has similar responsibilities to an NTO, except its promotional efforts are directed more to in-state and other domestic tourism markets rather than foreign markets. As such, STOs often promote directly to consumers rather than through the distribution system of travel agencies, tour operators, and meeting planners. Some states, however, such as Florida and Hawaii, attract a significant number of foreign tourists and do operate their own promotional offices and representatives in major international markets. Traditionally called Convention and Visitors Bureaus, local tourism organizations come in a variety of forms. Some are part of a county government, such as the Pasco County Tourism Development Council in Florida. Some are part of a city government, such as the Seoul Tourism Organization in Korea. Some are private not-for-profits, such as the San Francisco Travel Association. And some are a private sector unit within a chamber of commerce that promotes tourism and lobbies the government, such as Visit Savannah in Georgia. Local tourism organizations often focus on attracting conventions, group tours, major events, and pleasure travelers from nearby source markets. Tourism associations enable people and companies to unite and advocate on behalf of their specific role within the tourism industry. These organizations are created by their members for the purposes of enhancing business within a destination, advancing a specific sector or occupational area, lobbying the government, facilitating personal development, and socializing. Examples are hotel and restaurant associations, tourism associations, and ecotourism associations, as well as associations for tour guides, meeting planners, chefs, destination managers, educators, and many others. Many organizations that impact tourism are created without specific reference to the tourism industry, but since tourism is so multidimensional, it intersects with many organizations within governments, such as the National Park Service, within businesses, such as local economic development councils, within NGOs, such as the World Wildlife Fund, within not-for-profit organizations, such as zoos and aquariums, and within United Nations organizations, such as the UNESCO World Heritage Center. Organizations of all sorts provide opportunities for tourist professionals at all levels and all stages of their career to become involved as a member and benefit from their productive efforts. As you can see, there are many different types of tourism organizations, and they often overlap in their mission and membership. DMAI, the Destination Marketing Association International, is a well-known organization of tourism organizations. Based in Washington, D.C., like many other organizations that lobby the government on behalf of its members, DMAI is a global trade association that protects and advances the success of destination marketing organizations, DMOs, worldwide. Its website is www.destinationmarketing.org forward slash. Now I invite you to watch video number 27, Special Interest Tourism. Thank you.